We welcome you to college basketball from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania today and the Atlantic 10 Conference on USA as the Duquesne Dukes host the St. Bonaventure Potties from the UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse. Here's Brewer and he got it stripped. Combination of Kyrell Luke that time and Daryl Banks. Here's Banks popping for three and he drills it in transition. Ron's comments were yes. Coach Stanbrock clearly had a huge effect. And there goes Ruggiero. Pick six potentially. Got it in a foul. That's like a pick seven. The touchdown and the extra point. Here's a double and back out the Brewer. A long three. That's in the lead. It's good. So all of a sudden, Duquesne has hit two of their last three from three point range and now lead it 15 to 13. Bounces it inside now for Hill. Back out Rumpel. That's a three. That's good. He hesitated for a moment there, Coach. Then he put it up and in, and the bodies are up by three. Now for Clark on the cut through the hole. Back out to the corner. Grant for three. It goes down. They're checking. That's exactly how LaSalle beat the bodies. Pardon me, Rogier on the three, and now a steal. Reese. Game is tied at 35. The kick out, Williams for three. It's good. Gets it inside, Rotrop's got it. Off the screen, Flowers. He's fouled, count it. Big time there for the Bonnies as Moses Flowers takes the contact in midair and still hits the jumper. He's got Farrell on the way. Farrell for three. Got it! Shot clock down to two. Wild runner is good. Somehow by Tay Tay Grant. Farrell comes off from the baseline, puts up the three. He got hit by Grant. No call. The ball is tapped around. It stays in. Fight for it. And Malou comes up with it for St. Bonaventure. Ten seconds left. Banks for three. Got it! Monster shot by Daryl Banks. Go to the opposite lane line. Banks does mess it up. Purpose, it's tipped around, but he's got it. Barry Evans gets it to Malou. He puts it up and in at the buzzer. Count it, and the game is tied. Looks like it could be waved off, and it's a shame competitively, not rooting for any particular team, but just this has been so hotly contested. This is such a spectacular play, and it looks like the ball is on the fingertips at zero. Coach, this is so important here because I believe the call on the court was that the basket counted. Correct. And that's very important. Now they're gonna say no basket. They went and reviewed it. He did not get it off in time. It does not count. And Duquesne wins it by two. 56 to 54. They went to review. And you could just see it there barely touching his fingertip. When it was at zeros, the light was on, no basket. And Duquesne sneaks away with a two-point win here today. Wow, what a finish.